Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Smart Money Mo and in today's video I have a 2023 trading SMC plan. It's a full four step um, step by step guidance video which takes you from opening your charts through the analysis, through executing this trade, through the strategy and through managing the trade as well, right? It's going to be genuinely my best video up to date, the most beneficial video up to date. Before we get into that, just a quick thing. My mentorship is still up for grabs. And a key thing that I need to mention here is I have released eight new videos in my course, eight new strategies in my course, all of which are profitable. And these four scalp strategies are higher win rate and they are moderate RR. So you can get one to fives and, you know, with a 70%, 60% plus win rate, right? They are ICT based and they are very, very useful in 2023, right? So yeah, guys, if you want to get access to this full course for 2023, if you want to get the order blocks, the white coffee, the liquidity, all of that stuff, the risk management, and you want to get signals as well and weekly Zoom calls, make sure to join the mentorship with the first link in the description. But... Without further ado, let's get right into today's amazing video. Okay, everyone. So to get straight into the action, let's begin with what exactly you're going to do as soon as you open the charts. So as soon as you open the charts, you're going to straight away go to the higher time frame. Now, I'm talking relatively higher time frame. Right now, I'm going to be talking about the 30 minute, one hour, four hour, not quite the daily or something like that, but more, you know, the 30 minute, one hour and four hour. So the first thing you want to do is, on the higher time frame is when you're using this guidance, uh, this plan is to find a higher time frame break of structure or a higher time frame liquidity grab, right? And that is just simply all the first step is on the higher time frame. You're gonna look for a higher time frame break structure or a higher time frame liquidity grab, and this literally could be one of these three things. Number one is trend continuation, right? So this correlates to break of structure here. So when I say trend continuation, this looks somewhat like this, guys. So, for example, if we were bullish, trend continuation would look like this. And we can see over here we have the BOSs, right? We have the breaker structures happening here. And all I would have to identify on the higher time frame is a recent break of structure. For example, this, right? You guys can see over here that we have a break of structure a very recent break of structure that just happened acting as a sort of liquidity grab, right? So that can be step one done, for example, or it could be a high or low being swept, right? For example, here, right? If we look down here, over here, we have lows being swept. So if I see a higher time frame low being swept, I can mark that up as step one done. All I have to do is identify the low or the high being swept, right? So this applies to this and to this, right? On the higher time frame, if I see a low or high being swept, that also counts as step one. Now, again, another form of liquidity grab could be equal highs or equal lows being swept. So let's say I'm on the one hour and I see equal highs being swept, right? For example, like this. So this sweep of liquidity over here of these relative equal highs, that is also step one completed, right? Or I see, for example, Ignoring all of this action, if I just see this equal lows being swept just like this, right? That is again step one completed. All I am looking for on the higher time frame is some sort of liquidity grab, right? Or some sort of break of structure, right? It can be again trend continuation, simply a higher low being swept, or relative equal highs or relative equal lows being swept, right? Um, and yeah, that is literally it for step one. Now let's move on to step two all right everyone so to kick things off on step two following our liquidity grab on the higher time frame so following step one right on the lower time frame now so maybe the five minute three minute one minute something like that we're going to be looking for a lower time frame liquidity grab right so again this could just be for example in this example equal highs being grabbed right so we can see here equal highs being grabbed Right so through this move, these equal highs have been grabbed. Right, so again, we're waiting for a lower time frame liquidity grab. This can be a high or low being swept, equal highs or equal lows being swept, something of that nature. After we have our liquidity grab, we wait for a market structure shift. 
So in this example over here, guys, we have our uh, liquidity grab over here. So we have our liquidity, then we have our liquidity grab, then we have our market structure shift, and then following the market structure shift, we enter from supply and demand or fair value gap, right? Step two is very easy, right? I've mentioned this process about a million times on my channel before. So if you are new, then, you know, welcome to this beautiful strategy. But if you are a repeat on my channel, then you would, should know the strategy by now, right? We wait for liquidity grab on the lower time frame. We wait for a market structure shift, and then we enter from supply and demand or fair value gap, right? Exactly how I've done here. I waited for the supply and demand, then I entered following the market structure shift and liquidity grab, right? So that is step two. That is all step two is. Now let's move on to step three. Okay, guys, here we are at step three. So step three is all about your entry and the parameters to do with your entry. So when we are entering, so after you've spotted your, you know, your fair value gap and supply and demand from the previous step and you're re ready to enter, you're ready to set limits or you're ready to uh, do a market execution order, right? First things first, your risk. So if you are on a prop firm challenge, right? And you're looking to pass your account, I recommend risking 0.5%, right? Now, if you are on a live account or a personal account and you have you know, more money to risk, or you're already funded and live, then I recommend using 1%, right? Now, after you've, you know, went into the risk calculator and you've calculated your risk and you're using 1% or 0.5% based off what your account is, the first thing, the next thing you're gonna do, sorry, is to set your stop loss at the previous high, right? So if we take a look here at this previous example, you can see here, oh, I've, as you can see here, I set my stop loss at the um, the supply zone, right? So that could be a, a type of stop loss, but usually I'd set my stop loss above this high, right? Or around this high. Now, you could, if you want to, put it also at the end of the supply, but I do also recommend putting it, if you want to, above this high to be extra safe. Right, so that depends whether you want to prioritize RR or win rate. If you want to prioritize win rate, you'll place your stop loss above here. But if you want to prioritize your RR, you'll put your stop loss over here. Now, the next thing is your take profit, right? Because we've done our entry, we've done our stop loss. Now, take profit is very simple. We're going to put it at a liquidity point, so equal highs or equal lows, or a high or a low, uh, or an area of fair value gap. Right, and I choose fair value gap because literally all of the time fair value gaps are being filled. So if there is a fair value gap that will play into your favor as a take profit, then set your take profit there. Or if there is a liquidity point playing into your favor, then set your take profit there. It's that simple, guys. So that is step three done. That is your entry parameters done. And I will see you guys in step four. All right, guys, step four is a quick step. We're just gonna go over the management of the trade. So once you have seen a break of structure on the lower time frame, you're going to set your stop loss to break even, right? So let's say you're currently in an entry, right? So let's say over here, price triggers, you're going to wait for price to show you the first break of structure or, or for example, this break of structure, then you'll set your stop loss back to break even. This will look more clear on the charts. And um, when I show you guys uh, a real life example on your USD, that will look more clear. So if you don't understand that so far, don't worry, right? Just the key thing to understand is you set your stop loss to break even after um, price breaks structure, right? So when you're holding the trade, if price breaks a structure in your favor, set your stop loss to break even, right? And then afterwards, take partials happen at one to two risk to reward, right? And this is just for the safety of the trade and the safety of your account. At two RR or maybe 2% profit, I recommend you take some partials, right? So this could be 20% um, off the board and then you you know, hold 80% uh, um, to take a profit or you do the inverse. You take off 80% at one to two and you hold the rest of the trade 20%. I'll let you guys decide what kind of parameters depending on what kind of account you have. What I would do is, what I recommend doing is, is going in the middle. So I would say take 30% to 40% of your trade at one to two, and then leave the rest running for that full take profit. Um, but yeah, guys, 
that is essentially the four step plan in progress, right? And completed, right? So again, first thing, high time frame. Second thing, low time frame. Third thing, entry parameters. Fourth thing, trade management. Do not overcomplicate your trading plan. Keep it as simple as possible. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you know simplicity is my thing, right? I like to keep things as simple as possible. So guys, this is the simplest trading plan I can give you to 2023. Now, let's move on to an actual example where this is, uh, you know, used in action on your USD on a beautiful example, guys. So I'll see you guys, guys there. All right, everyone. Here we are on your USD. We're going to go over the trading plan in action. So yeah, let's get right into it. So here I am on the 30 minute time frame on EU, like I said, and I've got the trading plan here and let's go through every single step beginning with step one. So like I said, 30 minute time frame, find the higher time frame liquidity point, right? Exactly from the slides from before. So here I have um, a high that price is nearing to on your USD, right? And I also noticed that lines up with the Asia liquidity here. Right, so potentially we can see price sweeping both of these highs and then dropping off for some time, right? At least until this fair value gap, right? So I'm already thinking about where I could be putting my take profits, right, for later on. But regardless, I'm going to mark up the liquidity points. So I'm going to mark that up quickly, right? And that is essentially step one done. Very, very simple step, guys. I'm going to just mark that up like this and keep that there. Right, I'm also going to quickly just mark up some of this fair value gap um, for later on in case I need to use it as a take profit, right? Now, that is step one completed in terms of finding the higher time frame liquidity point. And now let's move on to our lower time frame strategy. So I will now switch over to the five minute time frame. I will, you know, just put that anywhere for now. And, um, Wait, let me just write completed completed here so it's very clear what we have and haven't done so now we've got step two to do so we will wait for this liquidity grab to happen there we go liquidity grab has occurred let's move on to the one minute time frame and carry out further observations so on the one minute time frame looks like price has taken out those highs as well as taking out those highs over there it has also taken out this high over here right so already i have the first step of my lower time frame strategy which is a liquidity sweep on the lower time frame right we can see here we have this liquidity sweep we also have price sweeping this high over here as well Right, so we have relative equal highs being swept on the lower time frame. That was, you know, the first part of the lower time frame strategy. The second part of the lower time frame strategy is waiting for our market structure shift. So on the one minute time frame, I'm going to wait for this low to be broken here on the one minute time frame, like I just said. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to wait for that. Um, also, I'm going to wait for this demand zone to fail too. So let's wait for that to happen. Cool. There we go. There is our necessary confirmation. Yeah, so the candle closed just below this uh, previous low and we fully violated this level of the month. So that is the necessary confirmations. So I have seen a liquidity sweep. We've swept the previous highs from the higher time frame. And now we have our mark struck shift. Last thing is entry from fair value gap or supply zone. I'm going to take this whole up move over here from starting from this wick ending at this high and I'm just going to take that there's a nice overlap here um, with this little breaker block but we'll leave that for another video so yeah I'm going to enter from this supply zone it's a really nice supply zone it follows all the rules nice imbalance as well here mark struck shift everything is perfect and we have that liquidity sweep just before so now let's go back to the trading plan really quickly and so we can say here now that the second part is completed in that we have successfully used the lower time frame strategy to find an entry. Now let's go over the entry parameters. So in terms of me, 
I would enter with 1% risk or nearing 1% risk since I am on a live funded account, right? So I'll put my stop loss there and I will um, put my take profit. So let me go to the 15 minute quickly to do my entry parameters. Yeah, so I will probably put my take profit nearing towards the start of this imbalance around over here, right? Where I marked up that fair value gap. I can bring it all the way down here, but I'm just gonna go for a one to seven risk to reward chilling it around this fair value gap over here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna place it around there, right? It's a very nice take profit, one seven risk reward, and we're gonna fill out this whole fair value gap that we have uh, on the 15 minute on Euro USD, right? So that is, again, as quick as that, my entry parameters are done. My stop loss is placed at the high on the one minute. Let me quickly show you. Stop loss placed at the high on the one minute. Entry placed at the order block. Uh, sorry, the supply zone. And then our um, fair, uh, take profit is placed at this fair value gap. So next part completed. Now let's go over management. So let's see exactly what happens with this trade. And let's manage it. Price triggers in. Now, instantly, I'm going to set my break even line. Right? So at this low, I'm going to set stop loss to break even right at this low over here and one to two let me just make a quick marking of that oh it's exactly at that line as well so perfect that will be literally perfect let's take a look and see what happens during this trade instantly we get into profit price does a bit of waffling there we go instantly one to two take partials and break even i'm now running with this trade at risk free and i can hold this trade um, you know, literally risk free guys. So then we can wait, see what happens. Price starts to fill in that fair value gap. And then eventually we end up blowing completely past the TP, as you guys can see just there. And we fill out the rest of this fair value gap, probably coming down to some sort of level of demand. So there you go, guys. We have now successfully managed the trade to all the way to take profit. And that is my full four step trading plan for 2023. You guys can see how simple it was to execute and manage this trade using that plan. So yeah, that's all from me guys. Um, let me just quickly go on to the 30 minute and run it through one more time. So we had our higher time frame liquidity point. We had our lower time frame strategy on the one minute. We had our entry parameters with the 1% risk, the stop loss at the high, the take profit at the fair value gap. And number four, we had our management, which was our break even, one to two RR um, secured partials. But yeah, guys, that is my four step trading plan. Hope you guys all enjoyed and found this beneficial. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment and be sure to check out the mentorship because I'm 100% certain you'll find the rest of my content very, very beneficial. But yeah, thank you guys very much and I will see you guys in the next YouTube video.